Outside of the northern Chinese city of Changchun, down heavily worn back roads, behind gates surrounded by barbed wire, and into walled compounds, last chance for animals investigators documented five major dog slaughterhouses in Jilin province. Gaining access to this secretive industry meant gaining the trust of slaughterhouse owners who operate illegally on a massive scale. Trucks arrive all day long with bewildered cargoes of dogs who look desperately for ways to escape their inevitable end. Some dogs collapse and are dragged by their necks, paralyzed with fear. Some lie silently as though loyally awaiting the return of their human companions. Others try to flee, but there is nowhere to hide. The slaughter of dogs in China is a brutal commercial enterprise with over 10 million dogs killed each year to supply restaurants and meat markets. Many dogs have been kidnapped by criminal gangs who patrol city streets stealing any dog they see. Their first two targets were Zhao Ziyang and Wan Jiaokiao slaughterhouses. Upon entering Zhao Ziyang slaughterhouse, one of the largest in the province, the remnants of the day's slaughter are evident. Over 200,000 dogs are killed here each year. Freshly killed dogs hang from hooks after they've been burned with blow torches and boiled to remove the fur. Dogs are ripped from large transport trucks with metal tongs that clasp around their necks then thrown into smaller cages where they're wheeled to their deaths. The slaughter continues at Zhao Ziyang. Terrified dogs look on as their cage mates are clubbed and then tossed onto the ground still conscious. This dog, who tried to run and hide earlier, now cowers and howls in anguish as she is beaten to death. The rest of the dogs in this cage are chased down and one by one, blow by blow, left unable to run any further. Their throats are slit and they gasp and slowly bleed to death. The line of dying dogs taking their last breaths grows. Inside the cages, dogs are frantic. Their screams ring out after each strike until just a silent, bloody pile remains. After completing the investigations of Zhao Ziyang and Wan Jiaokiao slaughterhouses, LCA submitted a complaint to the Jilin Animal Husbandry Bureau. At 3 a.m. on July 31st, LCA's representatives brought authorities to Zhao Ziyang and forced them to cease operations. Earlier that week, Wan Jiaokiao was also shut down. These closures are temporary, as the slaughterhouses are attempting to reopen under the cover of darkness. LCA's team is working with authorities for a permanent solution that will effectively ban the slaughter of dogs and an animal cruelty law that will give protection to all animals in China. Meanwhile, LCA investigators have headed back inside more slaughterhouses.